Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is, where you are. It's your girl Twin D, and if you never know, now you know. Thank you so, so much for dropping by the camp. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My longtime subscribers, you already know the drill. Big up on yourself, enough respect, and thank you for your continuous support. Let's jump into this, because trust me, this looks very good. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Alright guys, let's jump into this message. As I said, this looks so good right now. I wish you could see the cards. But the message I'm getting for you guys is, listen, you're divine masculine because I know most of us, well all of us, we think that our divine masculines have given up on us. They don't want to be with us. They, they they just don't want anything to do with us. But trust me, that's not the case. With this four of pentacles here, your divine masculines, they have been holding on to you from ever since. So most times, it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what was said in the past. Hey, things and times have changed. <laughs> And they have changed as well. So your divine masculines, they are hanging on to you guys. They want things to grow with you. As a matter of fact, your divine masculines, it, it's like they want to offer you something here. They want things to grow. Your divine masculines are focused on growth right now. And in order for things to grow, they have to also focus on themselves. Whew. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm hot. <laughs> these are my masculines, guys. They, they, they're, they're making plans. And this plan, I love this plan. It's the chariot. It's the chariot. So I'm getting two things right now. For some of these divine masculines, the reason they're working on their finances is so that they have to come towards you. And in order to come towards you, they have to have that finance to do so. So it's like they're working on their money so they can travel to come towards you or so they can buy that vehicle that they want so they can start to drive around or move around how they want so they can make life easier. But these divine masculines, they're on their way to you. Again, it's because they see who you are and it is because of who you are. It's because of the transformation that's happening within you and within them. My God. I mean, I wish you were seeing these cards and they're so beautiful. So like I've been saying before, your divine masculines, they may be communicating with you through animals. So again, when you see these animals, like one animal just keeps repeating over and over. You keep seeing this animal over and over. Try and find out the meaning. Try and see what it's saying. Three, two, three. And the number is like this, of course. But everything is in alignment Whoever this is, everything is an, in alignment right now. Everything is just flowing. It's like there's no stopping this here. No stopping this. It's just flowing. Your masculines, they used to hang on to things in the past that it, they were just a burden to them, but no more. No more. They're moving forward. It's like they're ready to step into their royalty. They're ready to be who they are meant to be. This person is on their way to you. Your next energy is the Empress. Who else are they supposed to focus on? And the message before this, they're talking about how much they love you and how you are the one who helped them to become who they truly are. They thank God for you every day. And that's exactly what this follow-up message is trying to say here. We have one, two, three major arcanas in this message as well. So this is what I'm telling you guys. Whatever is happening, it is spiritual. 444, four, four. I love that. Now that's telling you that you are on the right path. They are on the right path. Whatever is being done, whatever you are doing, it's the right thing. 
And guys, do not think that if you should walk away from the situation, if you should let go off of this person, you're doing the wrong thing. It is not the wrong thing. It's the right thing for you to do. Because what we need to learn on this journey is when. When to accept the fact that we are being used. When to accept the fact that someone doesn't appreciate you. When. How long is it going to take you to see that? How long is it going to take you to have that form of self-respect? To realize when someone is not treating you the way you need to be treated. How long are you going to take to realize all of this? And when you finally realize it. And you release and you let go. And then things start to change. That's your challenge on this journey. How long is it going to take you to have some self-respect? How long? All right. Oh, let me not forget. And how long it's going to take for you to acknowledge that God is the only one that can help you through any situation that you have an issue with. Through life. How long is it going to take for you to realize that all you need in this journey called life is God? And you don't have to depend on another human being to love you. These are the things we need to figure out. So there's going to be a new birth here. Whether it's a literal baby or whether it's a new start in life. But your divine masculines, their messages coming your way from them as well. Truth and clarity, they're seeing things from a new angle, a new perspective. This divine masculine may still be protecting your heart a bit. And it's because of who you are and what they see in you. And they, they may still have this feeling like, will this person still accept me? Will this person um, still want to be with me? Excuse me. But they're still coming with their truth. They're still coming to speak and say what they needed to say. They may still be in a little bit of a dark place, but they are coming out because they are seeing things differently from a new perspective, a new heights. Your divine masculine, this burden that they've been carrying, not acknowledging their heart, not following their intuition, that's about to change. That's about to change and that's because they have now found that self-love. That's because they are now that king of cups. That's because they are loving themselves. And, and this just keeps coming out in every single message. And this is exactly what you want to hear. Because if they don't have that self-love, there's no way they can be with you. There's no way they can love you. And it's the same thing we need to achieve. But this person is ready to bring you that cup of love. This person is traveling towards you to bring you that cup of love. I think I already got a message with something like that. I think it was yesterday. You can go and look, guys, because all these messages, that they're connecting. This Divine Masculine has developed the strength that they lacked in the past. So this the strength card keeps coming out, guys. It keeps coming out. And the six of wands, it keeps coming back. So they know again, they will have victory over their insecurities, victory over this timid behavior. They're going to be taking charge of their life right now. They're standing tall. They're standing strong. And they are listening to God. They are being guided by God. You'll have some divine masculines praying, asking God for help. Like, Father God, please let this person not cuss me out. (laughs) But they are definitely talking to God, guys. That's how they've achieved that self-love and that peace. That's how they started to give love to themselves. Because once you found God, you have found peace. So they know that there will be victory once again with you. 
And that's why they are viewing things in a different perspective. Because they have seen things of the past. Every action they took in the past. They realize and they see how it worked out, how it didn't work out. And they know they will definitely have victory with the six of wands energy. And they are taking action. Your maskings are doing a lot of thinking, guys. And it's because they are planning. They're planning. Because what this message is about is the four of wands. Hey. <laughs> it's the four of wands energy. That's what this message is about. That's why they're coming towards you. That's why they're making these plans. That's why they're looking at things differently than they used to. Because they have that energy within them that energy of love they're looking for stability now they want that happy life that happy home that permanent structure that structure that's not gonna break because they see it within you how many years has it been and you're still loving them so imagine if you were really together they wouldn't have to worry about love 11 11 and I just mentioned that four of wands. So new doors are going to be opening for you guys. Whomever this message is directed to. New doors will be opening. And it's not only in regards to your divine masculine. But it's in regards to your life as well. Your overall energy is the nine of wands. So you can see your divine masculines have been through a lot. But they're getting back up. Because their intention is that ace of pentacles that new start that brand new beginning that new life that stability that's what they're looking at they can see everything clearly guys i can see clearly now the rain is gone all that struggle is gone all that dark cloud that they've been experiencing is gone They haven't let you go, Divine Feminine. They still are holding on to you. And like I said, they may still be going through a little, you know, like, I wouldn't say heartache, but because they're thinking, they're thinking, I wonder if this will happen, I wonder if that will happen. But they're moving forward still. They're still moving forward. There's going to be growth between you and this Divine Masculine. Whoever this Divine Masculine is, they've been through a lot of struggles. What that struggle is about to end. And it's ending because they've achieved this self-love. So somebody out there. Somebody out there. This may be a specific person. I don't know. But of course it's going to be a specific person. Because somebody is going to be receiving this message here. There's going to be victory for you and your person. Because they are about to take action. Let me see what's in. What's in the middle. What's in their heart. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. So they're making choices, decisions. Like I said, they've been thinking a lot. They've been thinking a lot. And they're making these choices and decisions. And these choices and decisions are leading them to you. They're making a choice. And the choice is you. So prepare for this union, whomever it is. That this message is directed to. Just let me know. <laughs> Alright. Anyways guys. This has been your message. I love you all. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at the next message. Love you. Let go and let God. Enjoy the rest of your day. Later.